Good day, this is Keith Van, your Power Broker Technical Support Representative. We're doing a short movie on the importance of doing a Power Broker backup. One of the key questions as a Technical Support Representative would be, uh, are you prepared should something go wrong with your server uh, or something in your network environment that could potentially damage the information that's on your server or what if your so server were stolen are you prepared to go to your backup restore this information and then business as usual on the next day there are many different methods of backing up your information um, one as an example is the new well not so new but it's somewhat new uh, you know the iCloud off-site backup methods that have been out for a couple of years these uh, these are great uh, the only problem is is that it generally doesn't work correctly for backing up your power broker software the reason being is that um, your bro directory your images directory are generally very large um, it would be pretty much um, like transferring this handsome family in a smart car you know you'd be trying to get this entire family into a smart car it would be the same thing putting your bro and all your images and your PDFs and everything trying to get it over the internet every night to this off-site backup <clears throat> what an off-site company will then sort of provide to you uh, they'll suggest is that they do a thing called an incremental backup and what that means is that you know, the files that have only been changed today that you've touched would be backed up so if you generated let's say 20 PDF files only those 20 PDF files would be saved um, the problem with that is that uh, when you go to go and restore this company would have to basically go and let's say take Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and bring back everything that's changed over those few days. Uh, it, it can be quite long and cumbersome. Um, the images aren't even really a main issue. The issue is the actual bro directory. Should perhaps let's say um, you do an accounting transaction and something gets corrupted um, we would want to ensure that you're getting basically uh, a, a restoration of everything from an entire power broker directory that was backed up fully the night before. So the iCloud method and the off-site method generally is not a very good way to go in this particular case. It's a good idea though but uh, and it may work for some of your other programs but when it comes down to Power Broker your best bet is to follow the next few steps. What we usually suggest is if you were to go and visit one of your electronic stores such as Future Shop or Staples uh, you can pick up these uh, their external hard drives uh, you can see in this particular case it's a 1.5 terabyte desktop external USB drive it's on sale for $79.99 that's not a bad deal if you were to purchase two or three of these um, that would be your best bet because what you're able to do with these is you can just take a marker and on let's say if you were to purchase three of them you take a marker and on your first one you go A the next one you put a B and the next one you put a C and then what you would have is in your office you could keep the A external hard drive in your office B in your drawer and C at home you would have the A in your office from let's say Monday to Thursday night or Friday morning and then as your daily backup progresses all through the week Monday to let's say Friday morning you would come in Friday morning and you would disconnect your A drive and you would immediately go put it in your vehicle or you could have brought it Thursday night and put it in your vehicle and you would have gone into the drawer of your desk and grabbed the B out and placed the B back on and just connected it to USB drive it's like hooking up an iPhone or or those types of electronic devices hook up the B and generally 
your server will pick up the fact that the drive is back again. You may have to reboot. You may not. It all depends on the operating system. And now your automatic backup method will now start storing information to this B external hard drive. The A would go home. The C that you had at home would come back and go in your drawer and sit there for the following week so that you have a three, three external hard drive rotation. A lot of people will ask, okay, well, that's great for the hardware, but what about the software? What am I going to go and use to create a backup? Well, as an example, there are many, many uh, software programs you can purchase or get for free out there on the internet. Um, in this example, I'm going to be using um, a free software program. You can see it right up here. It's called Cobian Boletus. And I went to download.com and downloaded this software. It's a free software product and you can install, let's say, on your workstation or your server. Uh, I would imagine you'd rather have it on your workstation. Uh, just because uh, I'm not too sure if it runs on the server, but uh, let's imagine that you install it on your workstation. Having it on your workstation also allows you to um, get familiar with the software program, you know, get accustomed to it. You know, it has a lot of uh, different fundamentals that you'd want to experiment with, but uh, generally it wasn't too hard. It took me a day or so to get used to it, but after I was able to uh, to play around with it a little bit, I was able to go and see some definite results uh, in my backup method. You know, in this example here, you can see there's a few projects, and here there's a window that tells you about uh, what it's doing. In here, you can see where um, the general setup of uh, one of the options. Here's a full backup. You can see where I'm choosing full and not incremental, dummy, or differential. The setup also includes, you know, what's your source? Well, on my server, I have a bro directory, and my destination is going to be my external hard drive in a backup folder and into a, a directory called Q drive you're able to go and browse these directories to say well it's coming from here and it's going to be backed up to my destination which is here. You can see that I set this up that I wanted the Q bro directory to be backed up Monday to Friday at 11:45 p.m. And in this particular case, the software also allows you to use a zip compression, which is tremendously handy because what it does first is it, it takes a, a clone of your bro directory, compresses it, and then it copies it to your external hard drive. So basically your server or your workstation is doing all the work and it's not relying on uh, an external hard drive to be too brainy in this particular case to store the information. You can see here on the external hard drive, a few of the directories are already predetermined. Um, you can see other software programs that um, I've used to back up their information as well. As the uh, information grows and grows and grows, you're able to go into these USB external hard drives and do an inventory. Well, if you're going to have a backup of every day of this year, you could go back to last year and easily delete all of the backups from last year except one per month. There's nothing wrong with keeping a copy of one of your power broker systems uh, from the previous years. Generally, I prefer to keep uh, up to seven years just as a business standard. You're able to go back, let's say, you know, seven years ago and you had a, a, a few zip files from seven years ago, that's not going to hurt anything because generally these drives are so large and uh, they're so affordable that uh, after, let's say, three, four, five years, you could stop with these external hard drives and just buy a new set of three. Working in uh, technical support really is uh, sort of the front lines of where you're able to see um, issues that occur when it comes to backup. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, 
a lot of people say, well, you know, what do I do for a backup? And, and we've suggested them and those people are okay. And, and that's great for them. Generally, it's uh, the people that don't find out in time. Uh, you know, it's people that would look like this, stressed out because they found out that their backup didn't work. They're not sure what they're going to do. I'd much rather be one of these people. Everything is okay. My backup worked. And I'm going to feel sure that it's going to work again. If you have any other questions about this or any other power broker topic, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Keith Van at power-broker.com. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.